hold on. So uh, I. It's I, I'm dead, bro. I'm <laughs> I'm done, bro. Numbers. What numbers have been? <laughs> No. <laughs> Somebody clip that, please! Somebody clip that, please! What's going on, everybody? This is DK Dynamite, and Black Ops Cold War just received some updates that nobody's really talking about. We have two new bundles we're going to break down in all three game modes, and we also have a questionable mention about something that you really didn't expect. Definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And starting off with our playlist changes here in Colder Multiplayer, we first up have Slums 24-7. And I have to say, the Black Ops 2 remasters must be popular in this game when it comes to the player base to really warrant bringing back these 24-7 playlists for Raid, Slums, some of the other ones. I think Hijack's probably coming back soon. Nuke Town is still here we have night fight 3v3 infected luckily is staying hopefully permanently and if they ever remove this playlist i'm sure they'll put it into the party game section face off 6v6 is still here also permanently and we still have our wonderful fire team mosh pits right we have a mosh pit for the three ltms and we of course have fire team elimination there on its own and that's about it for the multiplayer but also don't forget you can actually win money while playing warzone over at players lounge to get a head start you can get 25 dollars for free when you sign up using the link in this video description and there's plenty more games you could play on there other than warzone as well you can play solo or with your friends and as an instant payout system with their automated scoring and even an anti-cheat they've already gotten huge investment backing from samsung comcast drake and even more and more information about this is of course linked down below in the description and as a pinned comment but first and foremost we do have the brand new mechanized fury Farah bundle it is a mastercraft it does cost 1800 cod points and just randomly dropped at some point i think it was late last night we have the war breaker blueprint for the Farah, and it is a nice looking mastercraft i've never been a huge fan of the Farah itself it it is powerful i can't deny that we also have the steeled might m60 blueprint does look pretty nice unfortunately no tracers with this bundle i think they would have actually worked out pretty well with this one we have the metal Minau vehicle skin for the boat and yeah definitely take advantage of the boats over in fire team or even combine arms we have the beep boop vehicle horn and let's go ahead and preview that Bit of a banger there, can't lie. There you go. We also have the Death Drop Charm, a launch time accessory, the cross bolted reticle, and even the animated robotic emblem, as well as the armored up animated calling card. So, a pretty stacked bundle, to be honest with you guys. Definitely miles ahead of some of the bundles we're getting right now in Call of Duty Vanguard. It has to be expected, right? Vanguard's off to a bit of a slow start, but I'm sure bundles in that game will pick up with time. Now, like I said earlier, I'm not a huge fan of the Farah itself, so I'm not going to pick up this bundle just yet. I may in the future, but shout out to Legend himself. Samuel, who is linked down below in the description, he managed to record some crispy HD gameplay of the weapon inspect for this Warbreaker Mastercraft, and he sent it over to me. It really means a lot. And I have to say, right, this is an impressive inspect for a year two bundle here for Black Ops Cold War. I'm assuming more bundles are going to drop in 2022, which I'll be covering here on the channel, of course. But it is a shame we can't inspect weapons yet over in Call of Duty Vanguard to appreciate some of the Mastercrafts and blueprints that are going to drop over in that game. Modern Warfare didn't get weapon inspect until season five, and I'm assuming Vanguard might just follow suit with late update like that. Now, you guys are probably noticed that some of the new items in these new bundles is being referenced as season seven content and i'm like wait a second season seven i believe season one of black ops cold war is being referenced as season seven because it picks up where modern warfare left off after six seasons so that means vanguard season one should probably be referenced as season 14 right so i'm like wait why is there mention of a season seven right now in black ops cold war that doesn't make any sense i'll be talking more about that in depth in an upcoming video i'll probably be posting at some point tomorrow unless there's some other news that i should probably be covering with vanguard we'll have to see but i guess my hopes of that we might even get a bigger content drop than expected for black ops cold war we've remastered maps some other ltms maybe even some weapons i'll keep you guys posted with that one but it's definitely suspicious looking i'm not gonna lie but the next bundle is the spirit tamer tracer pack which is a bit impressive to me and yes the tracer fire actually works for the 74u unlike the blue tracer they released for the mp4 over in vanguard it's unfortunate that still doesn't work i believe the tracer is extremely small for that blueprint it's embarrassing but as they said tether the souls of those fallen by your hand with the tracer pack spirit tamer bundle note the included smg blueprint has blue tracer fire crowd dismemberment for multiplayer and comes with cryo elemental damage which is cryo freeze for zombies modes like ground based and outbreak there is not tracer fire for the nail gun unfortunately they just couldn't make that work but we have the spirit piercer for the ak-74u one of the best weapons by far in colder multiplayer all the sweats uses one and the look of the blueprint definitely fits the vibe and aesthetic of the cold war which is perfect and we also have the soul skewer for the nail gun which by the way is an absolute monster in both
both multiplayer and warzone in my opinion not the greatest for zombies but i'm glad they included it still we then have the soul torn finishing move which we're about to preview for multiplayer and warzone bear with me but as you can see from the preview here it's out of this world we got some x-men looking ability going on here which is ridiculous we then have an animated snowflake charm and i wasn't even aware until a couple of months ago that there are animated charms in this game i just wasn't aware of that but this one's definitely incredible and we also have the hellbent sticker which you can put on these blueprints as well definitely not too bad but let's check out the finishing move with all three positions over in a custom game of multiplayer i still can't believe this says season seven though <laughs> hello all right folks we're outside and you know what i was gonna say they should have added an update to this map where you can see the showroom the new gunfight map which is right there that would have been cool here is the weapon inspect for the 74u blueprint also with the stickers and charm on it Obviously, you don't get any special inspects for just regular blueprints, only for Mastercrafts. And then here's the nail gun. Definitely looks awesome. But let's try this finishing move. And we picked Pines, by the way, because it's December. It's snowing. Might as well uh, live up to the holiday spirit. All right, ready? Yep. Mr. Ghost of War. <laughs> Shit. Holy. Literally takes your soul out of your body. That's ridiculous. Definitely an impressive finishing move for a year or two update, folks. Not going to lie. Here he comes again. Now let's try a, uh, a crouch finisher. Let's see if that changes anything. Sometimes that does something. Oh, not much stuff in there. Not much, yeah. Just, just lifts your ass up. But uh, a prone finisher might do something. Let's see. By the way, if anybody didn't know, this is a Back to the Future Super Mall reference. That's what this map is. Get it? It's an 80s map. Ha ha, funny funny. <laughs> let's see. He's a tracer as well. You can actually see them, folks, unlike the uh, MP40 in Vanguard, like I said. Obviously, no tracer on the nail gun, which is unfortunate. Maybe they could have made that work, but it might require more testing. Than I, time for I don't know. All right, let's try a prone one. Moment of truth, chat. Moment of truth. Oh, that's cool. That's freaking cool. Okay. Okay, so that actually does something different. Now, let me get one kill on Buddy with our beautiful tracer. Let's see. Boop. Very nice. Wait. Oh yeah, the crowd dismemberment definitely worked because uh, <laughs> there goes Ghost Rider's head. All right, folks, in spirit of this being the final round base map in Cold War, let's go ahead and hop into Forsaken here. By the way, if you guys weren't, uh, weren't up to speed with G Fuel, you can use code DYNAMITE to save 10% off any order, and there will be a discount boost, I believe twice a month, where it's 30% off. But anyway, here in Zombies, I changed the attachments a little bit on the 74U. Let's check out the automatic crowd freeze this thing has. Let's see. Tracers look great in zombies. Oh my god, this map's at night too, so they really pop out. Unfortunately, you can't spawn in with two weapons at once, or else I would have showed you the nail gun as well, but you guys know how the nail gun works in zombies. Nothing too special. Nothing special at all. Getting that crowd freeze built in. That's one of the best parts about these blueprints, chat. I mean, most of the blueprints that dropped for Cold War this year is that you'll get zombies effects, and it's like nearly pay to win in a way, right? Because that crowd freeze in action. Boom. Perfect. And obviously with uh, dark ether camo, it'll kind of take away from the look of the blueprint itself. So I didn't equip it. But yeah, that is pretty much your tracers here in zombies. Should I pack a punch this thing? Maybe I'll pack a punch it. Maybe not. Might take too long. Boom. Oh my. Forgot to put the charm on for zombies, but it's all good. Connection interrupted on private? Yeah. <laughs> what? My internet looks good. What happened? No idea what happened. By the way, Chad, the 74U isn't my go-to for zombies. I wouldn't really recommend using it for high rounds, but, I mean, you can make any weapon good when you triple pack it, upgrade the rarity, but you guys get the point. Obviously, Plum is the best place to try this out on because you can spawn in with your loadout. Let's see if we can get a pre-game lobby finisher. Oh, my God. Nope. Nope. He turned around. He turned around. He turned around. Wasn't lucky. Wasn't lucky. See if we can get one pregame. That'd be perfect. Ah, uh, but he turned around as well. Somebody let me finish them. Oh, oh, oh. I got it. I got it, Warzone. Yes, on Ghostface. Ooh, looks a little more intense in, in Warzone compared to multiplayer. Hello. How does Krampus find you? Oh, Krampus is on the hunt and plunder. Hey, yo. Is he in this map? I think, I think he's in here. Nail gonna kill baby. Hey, let's get it. Cluster. Oh, let me finish him. Let me finish him. Hold up. Don't kill yourself. Yes. 
Let's get it, baby. Goodbye. Got a down finish around Warzone. He's definitely right here. What the heck? I I Where? Oh, he's inside. Bro. Bobby Kotick just chilling? Wow. <laughs> Look at this guy. Done. There we go. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, he comes back? But he's coming back? The North Pole. Oh, and I'm dead. Oh, shit. I'm dead.